like a roast or something, and I just trimmed yeah, you everything use, off the outside. Yeah, but you can be, instead of getting roast, you can yeah. always get the, you see the London Broils? Yeah. They really have, like those, they are choice quality. They right. don't really have much marbling in them. Right. If you grind it, they will disappear. And this way, usually beef tartare, you grind it three times. Three times? Yeah, not once. You grind it, so this way you mix all the contents, all, it will, it will have a nice texture to it. So right. if you grind it three times, it looks like, it will, oh, I don't really have the chopping right now, we're right. at it. So if you grind it three times, it right. looks nice, and right. then after that, you just add the spices to it. But the London broil though, you get those, you cut those yourself? It's a, it comes from the whole top gun. It's a big hunk of meat. It has oh, it is. so these were just, just been cut. Yeah. So everything's been trimmed from it anyway. So it's all, everything that's right there is already yeah. clean, fresh. Yeah. It's never been exposed. No. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay, we do, otherwise, uh, the whole top gun, it has uh, like a big piece of fat. You see those uh, rows right. here? Top gun's kind of like that. Right. You just have a little more fat on it and right. things like that. You take most of it off and you right. usually you, uh, the trimmings of the top end, you use it for uh, grinding, for the chopping and things like that. Okay. You mix with the, the shoulder plates and things like that. Right. And the inside the lean part, yeah. it's constantly you have London broiler. Uh -huh. You can cut them up for the pieces, you stew. Okay, or so this this as it is, I don't need to, you don't to have trim to it or anything? No, just, 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 just cut them to small pieces grind and grind it. Do you have a grinder at home? Yeah. Yeah, so just uh, how much do you actually going to make? Just give me a whole piece, I like it a lot. I'm not going to eat all of it, but I'll share some, you know. I guess, you know. I mean, <laughs> it, you know, in Poland, we used to make that the people used to, we don't have any cows grown for the steaks. Usually they are milk cows. Oh, right. So okay. they usually use a, a fillets. Beef fillets. Oh, to make the tartar? Beef, beef tartar. But it, in here, the beef fillet, the, the cows are grown for the steaks and things right, like that. So right. it becomes too expensive. Right. So you're not going to use a 14 or 15 dollars per pound piece of meat just for, to grind it and make a. I mean, if you have the trimmings and pieces, yeah, but right. it, it's still. That thing, it's lean, and that's what you want. You want something very, very lean. Right. Because a couple and times I was in Poland, every time we went to a restaurant, because the guy, I was somebody's guest. So I, I would order it every time. <laughs> it was so good. Grow meat. Huh? You know, some people add uh, fish to it. Anchovies. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Did, did you care for it? Um, I don't mind it. It's okay. It's not probably not my fav my preference, but I don't mind it. Yeah, I mean, I tried all different ways. Yeah. Um, Usually, when you have friends over, you guys drinking, and <laughs> shots of vodka. That's the dish the Polish people they always have. It. <laughs> well, which one would you like? Does it matter? You pick, pick, pick one. It's fine. I, mean, uh, I like this one. Yeah, that looks good. When you do it, do you mix it with an egg yolk or do you mix it with oil? Oh, you mix a, you put a little oil, yeah, uh, yolk, pickles, onion, yeah, yeah, I do so. And uh, uh, what the heck? It's not soy. Uh, oh, uh, maggi. It's. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I it's never like knew a what soy, soy, soy sauce. So salty. Yeah, I never knew what it was. But I know what you're talking about. It's. Uh, it's called maggi. Uh -huh. In Polish, you had to put a soup, so things like. It. It's uh -huh. kind of like a soy sauce. It's very uh, okay. like high. Sodium right, 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 right. in it. So, but uh, you, you use salt, black pepper, okay. chop the onion, chop the right. pickles, and uh, eggs. That's it. Perfect. All right, so now that we're back from the store after visiting my good buddy Charlie at Lissio's, um, we've got our piece of meat. And, um, got my mixer which I attached a meat grinder to um, and what I'm gonna do is basically I'm just gonna cut this up I'm gonna feed it through now I've had beef tartar several different ways I've had it where the meat's been more finely ground and I've had it where it's been more of a coarse ground and I've even had it where it's just been chopped with a knife personally I prefer a little bit more coarse but I don't like it when it's been chopped with a knife um, which will work out just about perfectly because the dye that I have in here for my grinder, um, it leaves it more like, like a coarse, a coarse ground, which is what I like because I like it to have a little bit more texture. I don't like it to be like uh, putty, you know, like so, <laughs> so smooth. Um, cause then you, you start to, it starts to wonder like, okay, am I, um, am I eating beef? Is this like, like, what is this? You know, it's a little too smooth and uh, something with some, some texture. Um. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this before I go ahead and say don't try this at home or um, yeah that's my disclaimer don't try this at home um, I, I certainly don't want to be responsible for anybody you know who doesn't do it properly and gets sick um, I made a special you know a, a special effort to you know I, I have a good butcher who I trust to have handled the meat properly um, one thing you never ever ever want to do is just simply go to the grocery store and pick up some ground meat and like you know go home and eat it raw. Uh, I would not do that. <laughs> um, as most of you know, a steak you could as so long as you were to sear the outside, you could eat the inside practically raw because any of the bacteria resides on the outside of the meat. That being said, this piece of meat right here. Um, earlier today was one giant piece of meat which was then trimmed and then cut into steaks for London broil. So any part that was exposed to the outside has already been physically removed. So whether you choose to physically excise it or cook it, you are achieving the same thing and, and that is either killing or removing the bacteria from the outer part of the meat. Um, so, like I said, I have a piece of meat that I trust to be clean, free of bacteria, safe. Um, again, if, if any of you are going to try this yourselves, um, I would recommend that you either get the meat from a very... Well, I would always recommend you getting your meat from a reputable butcher, someone who you have a personal relationship with. It's someone who you're able to tell them what your intention is for that meat and that they, hopefully if there's someone who knows what they're talking about, they could guide you. Um, Charlie, as, as you saw earlier, um, is, is of Polish background and this is something that is very common, so it's something he's very familiar with, something he does all the time, so he was able to point me in the right direction. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I guess, like you said, I got hooked on it during my visits to Poland several years back. It's very common there, and um, I was someone's guest, so everywhere I went, I was well fed, and it's something they recommended, something I liked, and then every restaurant I went to after, something I would order. Um, again, there's really, assuming you're working with, it, well, first of all, it's, it's incredibly tasty. Um, and assuming you're working with you know, high quality meat that's been handled properly and prepared properly, it's, a, it's safe. Um, from a nutrition standpoint, you know, we're using a cut of meat that is, is very lean. Um, and, you know, from a digestibility standpoint, you know, some people might argue that cooked meat is more digestible, um, even though it is slightly denatured, but Either way, I mean, it's a, it's a fine it's a fine source of protein. Um, as you're going to see later on, we're going to add a couple things to it, but nothing that would prevent it from being a viable part of someone's diet, whether it's off season or pre contest. Um, well, I'll, I'll show you later. But I think it's a it's a it's an excellent tasting food. It's something that um, you know, and from a nutrition standpoint, it uh, it works. I've seen and experienced tartars on a few different ways. One of the ways is, all right, there's, there's typically things that you would put like as accessories to the meat, right? Like capers, chopped up baby pickles, maybe some marinated mushrooms, maybe some mustard on the side. Now, the way that I like it is to have the beef kind of front and center and have those condiments on the side. I've also seen where people kind of just put all that in with the meat and then throw it through the grinder again and just kind of like mix it all and uh um to me that reminds me of like like raw like meatloaf or something like ugh, gross i prefer to have it the other way where all i'm gonna do is add some oil raw egg yolk and some salt to the to the meat and mix it together put it front and center and then put the you know some condiments on the side and serve it with some sliced bread to have. Uh, really good. Um, when it comes to the oil, I would prefer something mild. I wouldn't use olive oil because sometimes it could have like a bit of a bite to it. Um, 
macadamia nut oil is nice. I have some almond oil, really nice, because it's mild, but it's kind of rich at the same time. So it won't, just don't, I, I wouldn't use olive oil. Um, I also wouldn't use like sunflower oil or safflower oil because most of it is junk. Um, this is actually a very high quality almond oil um, by Flora. They actually make a lot of good oils. Uh, you probably have heard of Udo's oil. Uh, their processing, everything is, is pretty much top notch. So you know that you're getting oils that are, um, you know, uh, not oxidized and they're, are, are what they're supposed to be. Um, and you can actually taste taste the difference. So we've got several pounds of meat here, and I'm probably only going to add maybe one or two tablespoons of oil and one egg yolk. I'm, I'm kind of just going to rough it, just do it on the fly, and see kind of how it looks. I could probably find a recipe somewhere, but this is more exciting, right? Now, from my understanding, now don't quote me on this, but the odds of getting salmonella from a raw egg is pretty slim overall. That being said, I think that you're more likely to get salmonella from the white than you are from the yolk. Now, don't, again, don't quote me on that. I could be totally wrong, but I thought I either remember reading that or being told that. Might or might not be true, but I'm willing to take my chances. You can add pepper if you like. I don't like pepper, so I don't add it. This will help not only flavor the meat but improve the textural quality of it. I'm just going to give it a little taste to see if it needs more salt. Mm. Honestly, it's really, really good. It's so beefy, fresh. Mm. It's like it's like sushi with steak, but better because it's tartar. It's like tuna tuna tartar, but better because it's beef. It's good. That is it. There's the beef, some chopped up baby pickles, capers, chopped up mushrooms and um, a French baguette that I just cut and you know gave it a quick toast and um, well here I'll show you how I do it I'm telling you guys this is actually like really really like super good like not just like uh, yeah it's okay like, no no it's like really really good It's so good. You know, and honestly, you know, like if you were doing it the last meal of the day, oh, you know, I don't want to have any bread. Like, you don't even really need the bread. Like, the meat is so good itself. And, you know, with a couple little chopped up sides, which so what? It's just some vegetables. Um, really, really good. I would tell you to try it, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish this off and enjoy it. So, see you later.